Food Wars 16. Let's go. Let's get it. These motherfuckers is goddamn sick. Sauteing, slicing, and dicing, mincing, and fritzing like a motherfucker, yo. Goddamn. Honestly, guys, I was very satisfied with the episode. I thought that they might have, like, skipped over this kind of challenge that they were going to have between them two, you know, and kind of glaze over it and move on to something else. But um, I'm glad it kind of encompassed pretty much the entire episode, really. Um, even though it doesn't necessarily need to, but I'm glad it happened. We haven't seen his pops in a while. You know what I'm saying? His pops coming back in the scene. His pops doing his thing. And he was like, look, son, I want to see what's really good with your bitch ass. I want to see if you've been slicing and dicing and mincing and sauteing the way I've been telling you. Have you been using them Brussels sprouts, nigga? You know what I'm saying? Have you been good? Have you grown? What's up? Let's see what's good. And boom, they have the challenge. And of course, my man Soma don't step down for no challenge, especially from his pops. Especially. So, they go ahead and make their dishes. And, you know, Soma's, he, I, I think the biggest weakness that Soma has is that just like his his father said during the episode is that he's been taught to kind of like cook in that kind of diner environment, that diner kind of setting. And it, even when I look back at all of everything he's made, everything he makes is very good. But it's something that you would find in, you know, in certain locations. It's not something that is really kind of... I'm not, I'm not going to say they're not unique. No, that, that's not the case. But I would say they're not kind of worldly kind of things. You look at what he made. The demon. Look at what the demon made. You're not going to expect that. You see things which you don't expect. Soma... It's like, I'm not going to say you don't completely expect what he's going to deliver to you, but the different range, just, they have different ranges in what they can provide. That's the main thing. And he hit him with that apple basura. That shit was bang. That shit was bang. You know what I'm saying? It turned, yo, Makumi was done. Makumi was done. You know what I'm saying? But and, and he, he did it right. I mean, that shit, like, I, I want some of that shit. I want some of that shit. You know what I'm saying? He went for something nutritious, something that would get them some energy, boom. You know, but his dad went for something that was, like, okay, overall just satisfaction to them, you know, as far as, like, taste and just, just everything. You know, something that, and also something that wasn't just satisfying to their taste, but to their appeal. And so just overall, like, wow, what is this? What am I eating? Like, holy shit. And that, he's like, he, he crushed it. He, he demolished the competition. You know what I'm saying? He straight shit on him, yo. But, like I said, it's like, it's, it's, it is mainly because, you know, his dad just has more experience. You know what I'm saying? And he has been able to go ahead and go to these different regions and kind of see the world and stuff like that. And, you know, just being able to travel to, to learn new things about different foods and spices and all these other different experiences that he has. That he can actually put those experiences and those things that he learned into what he makes, you know. And that's always going to be the downfall that Soma has until he one day um, does research himself or he goes and does, you know, similar things, you know? Because he's got to learn more about other cultures or other types of foods to kind of, like, broaden his, you know, his, his cooking skills, you know? Make that shit just straight beastier than what it is. But his dad ends up winning. And uh, pretty much after that, he's, he leaves and he pretty much tells Soma, hey, air out the restaurant, you know, pretty much go there, you know, you, you, you know, you can hold it down by yourself a little bit, 
even you might even want to go ahead and bring some of your friends there to you know serve some people for a few days it would be cool you know because most likely that restaurant was was filling up that street with, with customers most likely you even see the dude the fucking uh, newspaper stand he was like when is this fucking street gonna be <laughs> you know what i'm saying like hey i mean it's a good time to make that happen you know but besides that of course god tongue you know she's uh she sprung, you know what I'm saying, over orders pop. She, she look up to him. She want to see her mentor in some way, say the size of form or something. And she thought she saw him, which she probably did see him, just that they do a little bit got too far, or maybe she said stop the car a little bit too late. I don't fucking know. But hey, it is what it is. Anyways, guys, like I said, enjoyed the episode. Thought it was cool, man. Um, let me know what your thoughts about the episode in the comment section below. Don't forget to follow me on Twitch, Twitter. Facebook, the whole deal, definitely. I'm Shan Plu, this is Anime Central, and I'll holler at you next time. And as always, thanks for watching. Peace.